Hello friends, how are you? My name is Rizwan Afiz and today we are going to talk about another very interesting topic that is use of remdesivir for the treatment of coronavirus. As you guys must be aware of it that nowadays remdesivir is considered as a game changer for the treatment of coronavirus. So this video is going to be very interesting for you guys. So please stay with me. In this video, I'll be explaining about the introduction. I will be explaining about uh, FDA approval status of remdesivir. I will also play, explain about its mechanism of action and its manufacturing in Pakistan and throughout the world to meet the demand of remdesivir throughout the world. So first of all, let's talk about uh, introduction. Basically, remdesivir were manufactured in 2009 for the treatment of hepatitis C virus, but unfortunately, it was not found so effective against the hepatitis C virus. But later on, when it was evaluated against the hepatitis, sorry, uh, against the Ebola virus, it was found very effective against Ebola virus uh, as far as uh, animal studies are concerned or as far as human uh, trials are uh, concerned. Uh, while on uh, uh, 1st May, 2020, uh, FDA has issued an emergency use authorization. It means that FDA has approved this drug for those patients who need emergency treatment, like whose oxygen level is less than 94%. Those patients can be given, can be treated uh, with the uh, remdesivir. FDA has approved uh, for those patients. This drug only for those patients. Okay. Oh, now, uh, Obviously, in uh, animal studies and in human study, this drug has been found very effective. In the uh, human study, this drug has shortened uh, hospital stay by four days as compared to placebo. Obviously, if the study was done, some of the patients were taking placebo and some uh, like they were taking just uh, sugar tablets or some other tablet that was not having any active ingredients. And as compared to those patients, uh, the, those patients who were taking remdesivir, their hospital stay uh, shortened, uh, reduced uh, by approximately four days. Similarly, uh, improve patient recovery. Remdesivir has improved patient recovery by 31% again as compared to placebo. Like those patients who are not taking any kind of drug as compared to those patients, uh, remdesivir improved uh, the recovery of patient by 31%. Okay, now let's talk about its mechanism. As I have explained in my previous video that on the coronavirus, there are spike proteins are present. These spike proteins will attach on the host cell ACE2 enzymes, ACE2 receptors. And with the help of uh, uh, after the attachment, the virus will be endocytosed and a structure having virus inside will be formed that will be called as endosome. Then endosome will fuse with the lysosome. Lysosome will act on it. All the protein, all the spikes protein, all the uh, invalid protein, they will be degraded by those enzymes and genome of virus that is basically positive RNA, it will come out and this positive RNA is completely ready for the process of translation. It is completely ready to bind on the host ribosome and start the process of translation. So this RNA, it will bind on the uh, host ribosome and start the process of translation and protein will be formed. The first protein, when com this complete RNA will pass through this ribosome, the first protein that will be formed, it will be RNA dependent RNA polymerase. And you know that RNA dependent RNA polymerase is basically responsible for replication of viral RNA. It means this RNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme basically responsible for the making of new copies of RNA. Now let's see how this RNA dependent RNA polymerase work and how remdesivir will stop this RNA dependent RNA polymerase activity. Okay, so here you can see this is a assume that this is a basically a viral RNA. So in normal situation when remdesivir has not been given uh, how this RNA dependent RNA polymerase work? Let's see. Okay, obviously uh, you know, in the process of replication, nucleotides are added against the nucleotide that are already present on the RNA. And we know that against U, against A, U will be added, against U, A will be added. Similarly, against guanosine, cytosine will be added and against cytosine, uh, guanosine will be uh, added. Okay. So, so this is for example, uh, adenosine. So obviously RNA dependent RNA polymerase will pick uh, uracil from the cytoplasm and it will place uracil over there. Now it will move uh, forward and now it will see here is C. So I need to uh, place G over there. So it will place G over there and a phosphodiester bond between U and G will be made. Now it will move further against G. It will place uh, C. Yeah. 
and against u it will place a against g c will be placed against u a will be placed against a u will be placed a and a will be placed and in this way a complete copy a copy of rna will be formed okay now now let's say let's see how this rna dependent rna polymerase work in the presence of remdesivir so uh, before moving toward uh, the mechanism first of all let me tell you that remdesivir is just an analog of aden adenosine here you can see adenosine is a basically nucleotide okay who can make uh, bond with the uracil okay now what will happen uh, remdesivir is just an analog of adenosine it is not exactly adenosine it resembles with the adenosine in a structure now what will happen now let's see how this rna dependent rna polymerase work in the presence of remdesivir when the patient has given a drug remdesivir how this rna dependent rna polymerase of host cell will uh, sorry rna dependent rna polymerase of virus will work on okay so uh, against a we know that u will be added now this rna dependent rna polymerase will move forward against c this enzyme will add uh, G against G, C will be added. Phosphodiester bond will be formed. Against U, this RNA dependent RNA polymerase was supposed to add adenosine against U, but this patient has been given with the adenosine, and adenosine is basically not adenine, but it's uh, adenosine uh, nucleo, um, adenosine analog. Okay, so instead of adding A, the RNA dependent RNA polymerase will add. analog of a analog of adenosine okay now this rna dependent rna polymerase will not be able to move forward because mistakenly it has added wrong nucleotide so the uh, working of rna dependent rna polymerase will be stopped so it mean in the presence of adenosine the copies of rna will not be formed copies of rna will not be formed normally this is a viral rna and this rna dependent rna polymerase make further copies of rna but in the presence of remdesivir we have seen that these further copies will not be formed okay these further copies will not be formed and when these further copies will not be formed obviously now these copies will not be able to uh, uh, get translated now these copies will not pass through the ribosome and they will not make new copies because they have not been formed if they have been more uh, if they have been formed obviously they have been uh, formed wrong by uh, placing adenosine analog instead of adenosine now what will happen the some further protein synthesis will stop further protein that were uh, some structural protein and that was some functional protein that were required for the assembly of virus they will not be formed and a new copy of virus will not be formed so in this way the process of making new copies of virus will be stopped first of all the replication will be stopped new rna will not be formed when new rna will not be formed new protein will not be formed when new proteins will be not be formed new viral protein i mean when new viral protein will not be formed new copy of viral virus will not be formed so in this way remdesivir act and it stop uh, uh, stop the process of uh, uh, replication and stop the process of making new copies of virus okay so uh, now let's talk about its manufacturing obviously Uh, along with the manufacturing uh, its distribution throughout the world is uh, also a challenging to overcome this uh, challenge uh, this gilead company has issued uh, has allowed pakistan uh, pharmaceutical company and some other pharmaceutical company to manufacture this drug in pakistan and distribute uh, to distribute to approximately 123 countries of the world so uh, obviously uh, it's a great news for pakistan now let's talk about the resistance how this coronavirus can get resistance to uh, this drug so obviously uh, one of the functional protein along with rna dependent rna polymerase will be the first protein but after the replication some new protein will be formed and one of the protein is uh, exonuclease this exonuclease is basically can break it can it can cut it can cut the phosphodiester bond okay now what will happen whenever a mistake from rna dependent rna polymerase will be done and a wrong nucleotide will be placed now this exonuclease it will cut this uh, phosphodiester bond and it will remove this uh, adenosine analog and again right nucleotide will be placed again right nucleotide will be placed and in this way the process of rna replication will 
keep on going. So it means if there is a mutation, there is a gain of function mutation, not loss of function mutation. There is a gain of function mutation. A mutation which increases the function of exonucleases. Exon so obviously, all the mistakes that will be made by this adenosine analog, they will be rectified by the exonucleases because the uh, activity of exonucleases has been increased by the mutation. So in this way, the virus can get resistant to the uh, remdesivir and uh, uh, this issue should be addressed as well. I hope uh, you like my video. Uh, if you do want to know more about the coronavirus, please uh, watch my video related to coronavirus, uh, its replication and its uh, different uh, mechanism of action of different other drugs. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.